Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the background color of your layout space, as well as the background and colors of your model space. Uh, if you've liked these videos and they help, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get started. So to change the background of your model space, there's a few different ways. Uh, I feel like the quickest way is in model space, right click and go down to options. Once that comes up here, my computer's running a little slow today. You're going to go to colors. Actually, I'm going to go back. You're going to go to the display tab along the top here and click on colors button. Now you can decide what color you would like the uniform background. So this is the dark color you see here. If you'd prefer a lighter color, you could go with white and change your crosshairs to a different color, your grid, uh, you've got all the options in here. I'm going to go with white as my background and I'm going to hit apply and close. And as you can see, my background is now white. Now obviously that looks a little weird because I've been using colors that go with a dark background, so I'm going to go and change it. And you're going to do that by doing the exact opposite, selecting a dark color, apply and close. There you go. To change the command line text down here, like I've got it, to gray and purple, it's in the same menu, and it's on the left here. You're going to click on command line, and you can change the background, which I've got at a gray, you can see down here. And I've got my text to a purple, but you can change that as well. I'm not going to change any of those right now. I'm going to hit OK. Now for layout space, exact same procedure. I'm going to go to layout. I like mine at almost like a yellowish tinge. It's more cream, I guess. So on the left here, it automatically put us in the right spot, which is sheet and layout. Now you can do all of these from one, but by switching to it, it automatically changes the color of your active screen. So it's a little easier to keep track. Again, you're going to go to uniform background and you can change the color to whatever you like. I typically like something that is kind of like paper colored, but a little yellowy. So I like something like that. You can kind of see it's a bit beige compared to the white. I feel like uh, it makes all the colors pop. But again, that's up to you. You can change uh, cr your crosshairs in this window as well and grid and all that stuff. So there you have it. Really quick, easy way to change the colors and customize your your AutoCAD interface. As you can see by changing the layout tab here, when it's selected it shows the color that the layout is. Model does the same thing. You can see it blends in there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my video below and hit the thumbs up. If you've got any questions, just post them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.